evening. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You don't understand. I can barely stand still. My ADHD is going through the roof. This is honestly the most exciting time of the year. It is formal season. By the way, I say formal, but I know everyone else says prom, so you know what I mean when I say formal because I'm not going to say prom because I just feel a bit funny saying it. I feel like I'm trying to be American or something. Right, so formal is in. Formal's tomorrow? Oh shit. Formal's tomorrow. I have quite a lot to prepare. For some reason, I decided it'd be so much fun to leave it all to the day before because I think I work well under pressure. No, I don't. Basically, let's go through the things I have to do. I was breaking out a bit on my chin because I was a bit stressed, you know, with a big event coming up. I guess I was getting stressed and I got spots on my chin and they weren't they weren't living their best life. So I you did them off my face by getting a facial this morning. I'll show you me getting my facial. <laughs> And then now I have to go get my hair done. Basically, I was gonna get my hair done like right before I get my makeup done tomorrow, like the day of my formal, because that would be more ideal, wouldn't it? Getting your hair done on the day of your formal. But I couldn't get an appointment until like really early, and a lot of the people in my school were in the same boat as me. Uh, so we were all planning on just leaving early, you know, you know how it is. And then in school found out that we were gonna leave early, and they were like, get the fuck. So I'm not gonna be leaving early. Basically, I had to move my hair to today, which is a bit annoying, but like. I'll get over it. So I was gonna get my hair curled, but then my face looks so fat when I curl my hair, like it's just a bit rude. So I've decided to just stay straight. I'm gonna get like one of those treatment things I've gotten in before, just so my hair looks like a bit more smooth and shiny, cause it's not naturally. Uh, well, it used to be until I bleached it all off. <sighs> Then after that nails, no, I had a bit of a nightmare fucking story about this. Like I'm literally gonna burst into tears telling it because I don't know how stupid I can get. So basically I had my appointment for my nails on Monday night. Thought it was at half seven. Get in the car, hadn't been checking my phone. Got in the car at quarter past seven to go. Thinking to myself, Olivia, you're being quite punctual here. Quarter past seven, you're giving yourself 15 minutes to get here. I'm a punctual queen. Looked on at my phone, turns out it was at seven. So, missed my appointment. Had seven mental breakdowns in the car. Fucking hate my life, literally not going to formal. But anyway, here we are, we've survived. I'm booked a new appointment, but it's with a new girl. And my friend got her nails done with her the other day and said she took three hours. So, um, I'm not one to judge. I've never done nails before, but I'm just like, ugh, three hours. I'm just, uh. it's just the consequences of being a stupid bitch. I just have to suck it up, don't I? And then I also have to go to our Airbnb because like my friend group booked an Airbnb for our, like after party for formal, but it is literally in the countryside and like, ugh. Driving in the countryside. Ooh. Joking. Country boy, I love you. Country boy, I love you. Yeah, so I have to go there, leave off all my stuff, like, you know, like a change of clothes and some drink so I can get turned up at the after party. And then I also have to do my at home stuff. Oh my god, I have so much to do. I'm feeling stressed already. I'm gonna get some sports. Oh my god, guess what? This week, gay marriage and abortion is finally legal in Northern Ireland. We are thriving. Basically, another quick politics lesson. I'm so good at this. The English people were like, to the Northern Irish people, if you don't get your shit together, we're making gay marriage legal. And they didn't get the shit together. So here we are. We are truly living our best lives. So happy that abortion is finally legal because there's only one thing worse than a rapist. A child. There is only one thing worse than a rapist. Boom. A child. No. But yeah, there's also a potential risk of me never returning to school. Simple as, because the teachers are gonna be at the formal. Like, they're literally gonna be at the formal where I will be paralytic. So, it's just a bit of a case of how much shit am I gonna chat to them, do you know what I mean? And then I have to face them again in a school setting after being drunk in front of them. Like, that's not that, it just doesn't, it just doesn't sit well with me. So, <laughs> let's just hope, let's, fingers crossed, I don't do anything really tragic, except I know I will. I just, I'm just like the worst person drunk, so. <laughs> Oh no, I feel like this, I'm sweating. I'm literally sweating thinking about what I'm gonna say to them. No, right, just, I just get it out of my head. <laughs> right, I need to go or else I'm gonna be late to my hair appointment. I don't even like know why I'm doing this. I literally could just straighten my hair at home, but I just, yeah, I don't even have a reason. Also, I got my dress made. It's just, it's just there. I don't know if you can see it. it's hanging up. I'm not gonna show you till tomorrow. I'm really like nervous slash excited to wear it because it is satin and it really just does show everything, which you love. But it's fine because I'm so slim thick. <laughs> I'm shaped like a boy. If I were a boy, I am a boy. Can I just like stop talking so much shit? Let's just go get our hair done. Thanks. Bye. Right, 
I'm back from getting my nails and hair done. You probably can't even tell that I went to the hairdressers, but I don't know. I just feel like they straighten it better than I do because I'm really shit at straightening my hair. Also, okay, do I have a story for you? Can I stop moving away my chair so much? I just get so excited. Went to this new nail girl that I've never been to before. And basically, like, I actually, I really like the nails. They're really nice. But I bite the skin around my fingers. And there was clearly a cut there. I'm just saying it was pretty clear. Anyway, so she, it was like as if she wanted to make me cry. And it worked. Like, I was crying internally, but I was still crying. She was just like, fucking getting a file and, like, shoving it on. There was literally, like, beads of blood, like, coming on my finger. And to be fair, she was like, is everything okay for you? And I, I could have said, I am in, like, immense pain right now. But I was way too shy. I was too shy. I was like, yes, fuck me up. Like, literally, fuck me up. Like, I was crying. <laughs> I'm gonna cry now. And now I'm home. I have about 15 minutes until my friends come because I'm the one that gets to drive all the way to the countryside. Woo! Love is that for me. Oh, bag haul. What's in my bag for the after party? Oh my god, you know what I was thinking, right? So, obviously, there's a hot tub. So, like, we're gonna be in our bikinis. How fucking bad is that gonna be? Like, I don't, I don't think I've ever been in a bikini in front of a boy before. Because like all the girls are gonna walk down and they're gonna be like all slim thick and they'll be like in the hot tub and then I'll walk down like <laughs> no it's not happening right so we've got a bit of a uh, variation all right I wanted I wanted this top but then I wanted these bottoms so they're going together and they don't go like it's a horrible color combination but fuck it fuck it I just got like makeup wipes a hoodie and a charger and that's it I'm sure that was really really interesting for you you're welcome so right while we're waiting for my friends to come I thought let's paint our toenails because we love a good toenail but basically there's like a bit of my toe that is just like red and crusty <laughs> it's from my toenail surgery I like I don't know what to do about it I can't like rip it off oh <laughs> I gotta stop talking. My toenails are basically disgusting, so we're gonna try make them a bit nicer with some nail polish. Also, while I'm here, I can tell you about who I'm going with. My date, basically me and my friend Andrew, like I've literally known him since I was like four. We just decided we're gonna go together as friends because neither of us are romantically involved with anyone. So basically, I will be forever alone and I'm fine. I'm literally like, I've come to terms with it. So it's so exciting. But no, I feel like I'll have a really, really good time with Andrew because like we're friends with so like, you know, whereas if I was going with someone that I was like kind of talking to, I feel like it'd be really awkward. Like, you know what? You know what I have genuine fear about? Like, I'm just sitting thinking about this. So obviously, I'm just gonna come to my house first, and then we're gonna like take a few photos and whatnot, and then we'll go to the big pre, and then we'll go to the proper formal. Could I stop moving my hands so much? <clears throat> but like, whenever he's coming to my house, like whenever there's photos being taken, it's gonna be like complete silence. Okay, so basically they're gonna be like three, two, one, smile, and then they'll be like. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh my god, that silence is gonna be the death of me. Oh my god, my first video was actually a formal video and I'm getting my makeup done by the same guy because I really liked the makeup last time. And in my last formal video, I was like, yeah, like going to the gym, like eating so healthy, like I literally ate like bean stew. I literally just finished a chicken nugget wrap. Vegan chicken nugget, don't come for me. But if you haven't had that recently, it is sensational. Vegan chicken nuggets, lettuce and sweet chili sauce. Mm, in a wrap, it really gets me going. I'm gone. Oh, by the way, I'm actually painting my nails right now, but I'm just not gonna show you my feet, you perverts. Oh, I also need to shave tonight. I'm gonna become a naked mole rat. All I shave my head, one and one, one. I'm shaving my head. I finished painting my toenails. I'll give you a glimpse, okay? But don't screenshot. Okay, that was enough. <laughs> now I'm going to kind of fix my face a bit. I'm gonna shave my face just because it looks really nice in photos and you've got makeup on and you have a shaved face because there's no peach fuzz. Bum fluff, I got bum fluff on my face. I haven't done this in so long, it's gonna be so satisfying, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Because that was truly incredible. Oh my god, this is a good one. Do you see that? Oh my god! I have a beard! I'm the bearded woman. Right, now I've finished this sensual experience that was shaving my face, I'm going to get rid of my moustache. I'm just using this little nair stuff. It does break me out in spots, but at this point, I don't care. Right, so well, that concludes our prep for tonight, uh, except for my shower later, which you don't get to see. So uh, let's go to the Airbnb. Well, actually, we're stopping in the shop on the way because I really want food. Cordelia. <laughs> <laughs> Quick haul from Sainsbury's. Stop laughing like that, you pervert. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pot noodle and a naked smoothie. Same. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I went up to the till and she was like, do you have your ID? I thought I was amazing. I was like, yeah, actually I do. And like went to get it in my purse and then realized, no, I don't actually. So that was really, really awkward. And she was like, oh, I can't serve you. And then I just had to walk out of the shop. And that's it. <laughs>
<laughs> Put your neck beside mine. <laughs> You're so much darker than me. Yeah, but remember you washed she it washes off. it off. I think I'm gonna put on some tans. Maybe you can't put fake tans. I'm gonna put fake tans on tonight, and that's it. No. You have color just more for you. True. That? Put your fingers in there. We've arrived at the Airbnb. It's like Louis actually really nice, but this yeah, is our first room. room is. Yeah, one room. The rest is disgusting. We've got a wee twin bathroom. <laughs> What's in here? Walking. What are you guys doing? <laughs> this one has a call, which is a bit spooky. Oh, oh my god, I'm just gonna watch just... me be in this on Saturday. <laughs> right, and this is another room. It's then are we on sweet? Guys, this is actually so yeah, nice. Everyone was talking about like who's in the shit and who's in the shit call. And I was like, Me. Well, this is our oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surely not. Surely not. <laughs> the kitchen in there. The boys have already made a mess. Eh? I'm so upset by this. Why is it a mess on here as well? Is it? Look, they're minging. This is the hot tub. It's currently covered. It's a big boy, isn't it? it? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I want to go in it. Yes, we will. Yeah. yeah. I'm going in naked. She's going in naked. Very good. Thank you. Right, that's basically the end of the house tour. I would show you the other rooms, but. No, but no, the boys, the boys are in there and they'll make fun of me, so I'm not showing the other room. But that's the end of the house tour. Rise and shine. <laughs> I just farted. <laughs> I'm being serious when I say I'm not sure if I'm alive or not. Anyway, right, come on, let's go girls. It's time to go. It's the day of formal. I decided last night, like literally, I'm way too pale. And I know I have time to smore for it. I don't want to hear it. But I just decided, what's what's the harm of putting on a little bit of tan? So I did some hunting. I have this, which is the Bondi Sands Liquid Glue, which like isn't proper like mousse, so I feel like it's not gonna be that dramatic. And then luckily I got to wear my own clothes to school today because there's absolutely no way I was putting on my uniform. I need to get to Starbucks as that rocky, or I'm literally gonna have no energy for the rest of the day. Oh my god, like I'm literally the whitest person there is, but like I truly do adore Starbucks. There's one beside my school, and I literally go every morning. And because I go every morning, the barista says, are you ready? The usual. I know, I know, it's truly sensational. Also, I could turn on the big light right now, but like, don't be ridiculous. My eyes would literally fall out of my head. Oh, um, uh, it looks a bit dark. Oh, okay, that's actually really nice. Right, I had to turn the big light on, which is really upsetting to me, but <laughs> I actually think it made a bit of a difference. They're going to become a bit more bronzy, I think. It's like a wee oil and it's like quite natural, so I quite like that. Right, so that's all we have to do this morning. Now I have to go to school. Like, that is seriously not okay. Why do I have to go to school? Off we go to school. I just got out of school. I got my ticket and they, I hate them so much. I'm so late. My makeup appointment is at 11. It's 11 and 5. I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. It's really going to happen. Anyway. <laughs> I'm home for my makeup. I actually love it so much. He's called DJ MUA and he's just, mm, I love him. You know, like the way I always use Chloe Elizabeth doll lashes. He knew that and he went out and bought them. And like, I'm eating some, um, let me show you. Oh, George, fuck off. Some really questionable spicy soup. Not sure if this was the best idea. Basically, I chose soup because I knew it wouldn't bloat me and I'm wearing a silk dress. So like, we need, we need some help, but it's spicy. So there is the risk of me having like explosive diarrhea at formal. So catch me in the toilets. I've just gone for like a wee shimmer. I don't usually go for shimmer, so it's something quite different for me, but I actually really, really like it. Also, I asked for olive bread with my soap and my mum got me hazelnut and fig bread. She's fired. Right, we're all done. I just had a bit of another heart attack because I had to tape myself into the dress and it was just proving really hard. And then all, the, all I could hear downstairs was dad going, Alexa, play hip hop music. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I'm really nervous for my date to go now. Also, Elise is here. Hi. Elise! Hi. Um, I'll show you my dress. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's kind of hard to see, but it's like, Elise in the back. This is the back. I got a wee ruched bum. This is it, girly pops. 
so nice. Oh, I'm so nice. Yeah. Okay, right, we're gonna go take photos and if anything happens, I'll update you. But like, I really like to try to vlog around like Andrew's parents, could you imagine? <laughs> so I have to get some sneaky bits at the pre and stuff, but I will, so I won't really be speaking to you again after this because I will be really drunk. So this is just gonna be like the last time I'm speaking to you. And then the rest is probably gonna be like we montages and I'll maybe show you the after if I'm like still alive by then. So I really hope you enjoy it. Bye. We are at the pre now. I forgot the video, so um, I'll just put in the croissant on, but like, trust me when I say I was shaking and sweating. It was the most nerve wracking thing I've ever done. <laughs> like, you literally just putting like a bracelet on my wrist. I'll show you it. Why is that nerve wracking? It's, show me yours. Oh. I'll show you like a bit of like what the praise is like, but I'm not going to speak anymore because everyone wants it. It's so rowdy. It is. It's so rowdy. How many people are here? Like, like 100, 150, potentially 200. And I'm not drunk enough yet. Like, some people are really drunk. Gemma just fell over. And I wish Gemma I was literally yeah. in front of Gemma fell over Gemma. with all the parents. Vagina out. Like, it was not a situation. And we were all like, taxi. <laughs>